Okay, this video will show you how to post a comment on Youth Voices. Um, this is a blogging platform for students that has been around for several years, so there are hundreds of posts. Um, you can search, you can look at posts that are posted by particular schools. So you'll see Berkeley High is right here, Life Academy, which is in Oakland. Um, there's a couple other schools that you might recognize. Um, you can also see posts with the most comments. You can um, search a particular topic. These are obviously very popular topics on this site. Um, or you can just look at the featured discussions. And a, a, a discussion on Youth Voices is basically the beginning um, it, you can think about it like the beginning of a discussion. It starts with a post, like a blog post, and then there are comments. Um, so I'm just going to pick the first one I see, um, but you should search around and find something that interests you. So here's the post. It's not super long. Um, and at the bottom, I'll see the option to leave a reply. Um, and so there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but after you've read the post, you might think, oh, I agree with this person, or oh, no, I don't agree with this person. Uh, you can go back to the document here. You can leave different types of comments. So if you have a personal connection to the post, you can use this uh, guide to help you write a response. If you want to share more information about the topic, if you feel really passionate about it, you can use this guide. And finally, if you agree or disagree with the post, you can use this other guide. So each guide has a will allow you to write a response of a few sentences. And I'm just going to start this post, but not finish it. Um, so I, let's say I read the I read the post. I want to leave a comment. Um, so the first thing that I'll see is dear, and then the first name of the poster. Um, and you will see it um, right here at the bottom. I thought it was at the top. Montserrat. Okay, so I will write the poster's name here, right under author. And there may be multiple authors, and then you would write it to both of them. Um, and you would say, you know, I'm excited about, I'm interested in, I'm intrigued by your post about COVID. Um, so I would probably say I'm interested in I don't really like any of these options. I'm interested in your thoughts on COVID because I think this is a really important issue. And now this is not the strongest response, but you would keep going. And it's really, really powerful if you're able to quote something from the original post, right? Um, and so, you know, you would find something that you liked or that you wanted to respond to, and then you would copy it down here. And then you would continue your response, okay? This one is going to be really short. Um, and then um, you can sign your name if you want. Um, and say thanks posting. I am looking forward to reading. Something like that. Um, and then you could sign your name if you wanted to, but you don't actually have to because when you post your comment, you will see that your name and your avatar are associated with that comment. And if you realize that your comment is too short, which this one is, you can go back and you can edit your comment by clicking the edit button here. You can only edit your own comments, not other people's. 